been listening to Track Train Play. Enjoy the rest of your week. What's up? My name is Michael Weston. I'm a music producer from Atlanta, Georgia. First question is, who have you worked with? So I've worked with this artist by the name of Andrea. She's a dope artist. She just signed a deal with um, Ear Drummer Records. Michael made his label. And I work very closely with this other up-and-coming artist by the name of Juan G's. He's super dope. How exactly did you get these artists to hear your beat? When it comes down to like Andrea, as well as Juan, we went to the same high school, so you know, we, we were friends. So me playing beats, me having the opportunity to play beats for them was just born out of genuine friendship, g genuine relationships, which is really important. It's very important to, you know, just to be a, a good person and just try to like show love to everybody and just connect with people on a friendship level and just keep things genuine because you never know, you never know what a simple friendship can turn into later down the road. How did they contact you? As far as Michael made it goes, that's a pretty lit story. I was at this studio out here called Tree Sound. It's a really popular studio. I was cooking up in this one room and Mike Will and his team were there. And that's the main reason why I was there because they were there. And Aubrey, which is an A&R over at Ear Drummers, he comes into the room and uh, he says, yo, come into Mike's uh, session real quick. You know what I'm saying? He was like filming some type of like documentary or something like that, filming something. It was crazy. And he was playing a lot of new music too. He was actually making the, the, the track list for Ransom 2 that night. In that specific moment, I walk into his session and you know, he's playing dope music. You know, it's like maybe like 30 people in that session and we're all vibing, vibing out, listening to all this dope new music. You know, I'm a fan of Mike, you know what I'm saying? Like all of his projects, mixtapes. I feel like it was a perfect opportunity for Andrea to get exposure. Perfect opportunity for me to finally get a record released professionally on a major label. So it was super dope. When did you hear the record on your beat? And Burning, it was a super old song we made in like 2013, but the song went through a few changes. I actually freaking lost the files to the beat when it was time to when it was time to mix for Mike's album. They ha I had to actually remake the whole beat from scratch because I lost the freaking files. It was so stressful, but yo, we made it happen. I, I remade the whole beat. And then, you know, I sent the files to Mike. When the album finally released on Apple Music, I heard Burning and I heard a few little tweaks that Mike and his team actually add to the song that made the song 10 times better. Like, genius. It kind of like, it's like, I don't want to say that it's like a legit hook on burning, but there's a part where where it's like Andrea's lyrics is like where they chop up they chop up her vocals and it's like burning niggas up up and it's like they have that looped and that's kind of like the hook of the song. So that part wasn't there before. So hearing the little it wasn't too many tweaks, but hearing the little intricate things that they added in their engineer, whoever mixed that record, they snapped. It was brilliant to be on a project alongside you know, Pharrell, he got the song called uh, You Go, Aries, to be on a project with Young Thug, be on a project with Ray Schremer. That moment, it gave me confidence, like, yo, like, like, I can do this. Stay diligent, stay focused, make your dreams come true, like, for sure. Special shout out to Track Train. Thank you guys so much for uh, giving me the opportunity to share my story. Stuff like this is really important to producers. Yeah, man, love to Track Train, man. Thank you.